Howdy everyone, I'm Scarlet and welcome to the carnival. I don't remember what this game is about. I got this game and I liked it, so I'm playing it. Let's play. This game contains flashlights, uh, images, epilepsy. Uh, read that. Pause to read. I don't remember what, even what kind of gameplay this should have. Oh. Little tad bit of lag. I just finished uh, To the Moon. And was just crying. I must be able to zoom. I'm a little flying ghost. I love, I love the circus. Confetti. Oh, you're so cool. Hey, we have a visitor here. What? Another visitor has arrived. Welcome! Hey kid, do you not happen to have any ticket? No worries at all. For all lost souls, we offer free services free of charge. Would you like to get your ticket to Confetti now? Yeah. So, what should we call you? Paper. I am called Scarlet. Scarlet, good to hear. Good, I'll remember that. Are you sure about this name? Yes. There's a present for you, a special paper craft. Make sure to take good care of it. Oh, I already have my own. See? You can't see it behind my thing. It's a special gift for all our visitors. We prepare a unique costume for dressing up. What is. I can't really. Oh, it's a paper hat. Something went down on the screen right here. You can't see it. It's like a fortune thing. Enjoy the park as lovely paper as a lovely paper book, and don't ever get lost again. I'm floating. Goodbye. Can't move. I love going to the carnival. This is gonna be so fun. This is not gonna be scary at all. Confetia. I can't, I can't move. I love the circus vibe. <gasps> I'm adorable. Oh no, this is gonna be like a boss rush or something. Isn't it? Space to investigate. Hmm. Tips for lost souls. There, there are so many weird buddies here. Don't be afraid. They'll be glad to show you around. Here's something on the back of the note. Looking forward to seeing you in person. Locked with a toy like texture, but you don't have a key. So there's a fortune, uh, a paper fortune thing. Okay. A mound of popcorn so tall you have to crane your neck to see the top. You feel uncomfortable with the item size here. Huh. A gnat here. It's in my face. Ah! See what you found! A toy block! Pat. Pat with your paper arm. Imagine the pain you it may feel. Ouch! You notice that the color on the block has died onto it as the paint comes off of your arm. Or did I lose health or something? 
glowing, I should be able to interact with it. Cotton candy comes out of the chimney. The sugary smell might s sweeten your teeth off. You still have any? If you still have any. My room isn't even dirty. Why is? Why do I have gnats? I'm not scared of anything that's happening right now. Oh. Big box that beckons you to open it. It's just the right size for you. I'm gonna open the box. Jeez, the ribbon of the box is hairy. Then you realize it's soft, fluffy stuffed toy. So you found underneath it a key. I got a key. It's mine. A block. Putting block with a number one on it. Touch it noting it's soft. It doesn't have any sharp edges. You guess it could be a pillow shaped like a block. Okay. scene. There's always just one gnat flying around at any given time. It's like it's always replaced by the... It's always replaced if you kill it. Oh. Well, what is that thing? Buddy? I can't move. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna let it touch me. Something's off here. I'll be quiet. It's really pretty. Oh, hey, surprise! The colorless Scarlet, our protagonist, has finally arrived at the stage. I am Darylini. I shall be your tour guide. I will guide you through your journey through Confettia. But first, I've prepared you a little opening performance. Oh, first act. Chainsaws, round saws, Scarlet stopping hide and breast your in and explain welcome to confetti. Okay, she's gonna kill me. Oh. Why is it my business if you two are having fun? Well, why can't I speak? Oh, it doesn't take that long to die. Our visitor Scarlet, who just entered Confetti, is already faced with- Huh? Who are you? Demetria. Huh, what? Where did you do? Why are you- What? Sit it- Why are you a second visitor? Don't make me the second one. You should die in a second. Oh, nice try, but look at yourself. Have you ever felt pain up until now? Didn't I bleed out to the point that I can no longer feel pain? Wait, there's not even a single wound. Was I impaled for real? Why didn't I feel anything? Yes, yes, why? Because you're already dead? Not there yet! If you were to die from wounds, one should it at least have physical body, right? But you here to- Oh god, I love the- I love these voices. But here you are- But here you're just souls. Of course you can never get hurt, nor can you die of physical wounds. Your flesh bodies are safe and sound in the above world. Above? This place must be... Limbo! Okay, back up a little. Is the world ghosts after all? I'm <laughs> just kidding. This place between the underworld and the mortal world. The underworld and the mortal world are two pieces of meat and a burger. And this place would be the bottom of the metal. Huh? Ah, wrong order of words. 
I'm sure no one can die here, right? Indeed! No one can die here anyway, so let's do it again! Do what again? I'm so confused. Hold up. I'm just a flat sheet of paper. You see, amazing is it? You can already find your way without a guide in Confetia with all these unusual paths. There he? Oh, okay. Where did you take us? This path leads to the first attraction. Oh, taking you, talking to you reminds me of the last visitor on my tour. What happened to the last person? What happened to that? <laughs> huh? What did you say? Oh, by the way, before our tour fish starts officially, have you ever thought about how amazing it is to be immortal? Your adventures can last forever. Does that mean if we can't find the exit, we'll be stuck here forever? Well, not that there are any other ways, but I think it's a bit early for that. Because compared to death, there is something worse. Like being stuck here? Souls won't suffer physical deaths, however, souls still have spirits. If your spirit is eroded completely, it will collapse. You'll fall into utter madness. There's no way back. So I do have health, okay. However, no one will die here. You can only lose your sanity, but never your life. What would happen in that endless madness, I wonder? Listen carefully. Ah. It's the carnival of spiritual death only. I love the style. And do you hear visitors? It's the end of our guided tour. From now on, every step you take in the park, every joy and sorrow you share will become your very own story. So I hope you embrace your most delighted, light full of emotions, and have a nice tour. Bye. I'll go this way. Uh, this way. Why not? Oops. I don't know where I am going. Is there like a limit? I mean, it's all different. Follow me, I know exactly where to go. Just keep dashing. Oh, I did it. Uh -huh. Where did those hands come from all of a sudden? It really feels melting when I'm touched by them. Oh. Yeah! Alright. I love this so much. Oh, hey! Alright, dear elite. Dear. Delarini, Delarini, Scarlet, do you know it? In your journey ahead, you will face an even more spectacular abnormal eager to eat you. That is to say, you cannot get away. I'm not sure if you're tough enough to survive long enough to find the ultimate exit to the part. Seriously, reach the end? Reaching the end might not be the best choice, should we say. Want to know the secret? Best way to get home. I pity you. I truly hope you can reach the best ending. That outcome would indeed be ideal for Confetia. It's a time I anticipate more than anyone else. If you allow it, I hope to feel the abnormal. Uh, the abnormal for you, ensuring a smooth journey ahead. Fortunately, it's your story, therefore I cannot interfere. I draw Scarlet. See, you know, this carnival hosted only for you. I feel honored, thank you. God, I love the style. Smudge my glasses. It's an extra challenge, don't worry. This game is only like two and a half hours long. I really enjoy the style. Oh. 
Uh, okay. We are committed to providing a unique experience to every one of you, our visitors. Oh, that's cute! Fantastic environment and colorful palette has always been whatever. Speaking of this, I must mention the transportation... I can't read all that! Emotions, feels everything is colorful! Then why don't you have color? Every plant has a personality. Every smile on your face, every eye and every fa and face. Carefully. Oh, oops. I can't read all that! Excuse you! If only I had a controller. Well, you want to eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. To eat, eat, eat. Okay, so I'm like, is the delicious? I'm gonna buy it too. Oh, you're cool. I love it. No way. No, it's not allowed. Uh, excuse you. Ah. I'm telling you, I've noticed it already. Oh my god, are you a moth? I love moths. If I pull the paper boat off your head, then there must be a bald patch underneath. Where are you? Me, I am. <laughs> you lost soul. How can you expect to find your way home safely in this chaotic world of confetti? Well, let me teach you something important. Firstly, take that paper boat off. Never mind that for a moment. How'd you get that paper fortune teller? Uh, it's right here. You guys can see it. Quick, pick a number. Four. Pick a direction. Uh, north. Direction of fate will be... Little silly hat tip. Great, then I will start eating you fr Eating from you, little... Little silly hat tip. <laughs> please, please. Hey, not for you. It's very laggy. You are not listening at all. Well, do you have any idea why a normal want to eat you out that much? Their one and only desire is to feast on fear and desperation. Another attack, your soul will ooze black and white paint like wounds oozing blood under a bandage. That is to say, rare, colorless prey like you are exactly their favorite. Well, you little paper boat, let me tell you a secret. These abnormals shouldn't have invaded this park. They abruptly came through this place one day, and nobody could do anything about it. Only the puppet craft in your hand is specifically prepared for visitors. It can reverse the abnormal. Oh? The puppet craft is called a record. Listen carefully. Ooh. Oh my god, the arts! What did that do? Long press to expand it. Oh, so I can... God, there's too many buttons! See? That's the power of the Archer shock. Physical, bo physical body wounds don't exist in this world. To overcome the op opponents, the only way is to use spiritual powers. Usually a stronger mind than your opponents is press them, or even reflect the spiritual effects on them. Record is a medium for such. The instantaneous shock generates a burst of spiritual energy. That's to reverse the state of your opponent. For a boat, tiny little paper boat. Do you have any idea what, what it means to hold the record? Whether you like it or not, the fate of confetti is under your control, little brat. What, you said your name is Scarlet? None of my business. Alright, if I keep our protagonist here for too long, our the audience will get mad. Go on with your sailing. Yeah. I almost forgot the most important thing. I haven't taken a bite out of you yet. Get away! Nasty beast. Go! There's too many buttons to get used to.
Gotcha. Ah. Am I gonna encounter like another character now? Welcome, Cable. Welcome for you forever. Oh, thank you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Peace. Oh, I love all these characters. I just don't know what's going on. Was this place always this dark? Don't remember. Didn't remember it correctly. Oh, she startled me. Are we still alive? Those cuties treated you way too nicely. What a bunch of idiots. Everything is for me then. <laughs> oh, another thing. I want to tell you when we've, we've met. Redentrophy is expl exploding. We arrived at the terminal of a weapon cable. Thank you for joining us. Our welcome cable will forever welcome you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, only gave this little time to chat. Someone must be really impatient. Bye. Am I just gonna be on this track forever? Scarlet. Do you know how wonderful it would be to if an abnormal in Confetio were fixed? No one's mind and spirit will ever get hurt. It'd be a perfect amusement park of pure innocence. You'll no longer be exposed to fear, and no soul will ever collapse. I don't have any motivation here. No human will ever die here. Confetti, I would. Oops. Oh, yeah, it would be best ending. I'll try not to get squashed. Alright. Do you need my help to fold yourself? I could even style your hair. I'm quite talented in handicraft. Click clap. I want a bob. Cut all hair below the bob. Clack. Alright, Confetti is still waiting for you. See your paper boat. Who are you after all? As you can see, I am Lu Lucia. I've told you so many secrets, don't tell anyone. Cling, I am Lucia. Because Lucia doesn't exist, there is no illusion. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit. Like, I don't want to just keep dodging people and then having someone talk to me and then random stuff happen, right? I want, like, some story. I want some, like, differences. Here we go. We're actually somewhere. I didn't get a bob. A piece of paper fell along with you, but you don't think you've ever seen it before. The paper is a sketch of some kind of soft-bodied ocean creature, maybe a couple of tangled, crooked lines. Was it some immature kid that put it on your back while you were distracted? Does it say anything? Penny has classic welcoming event. The tour of Welcome Cable is coming to an end. After a brief introduction, do you do you have a better understanding of the park now? Now you can follow the route and start your journey effectively in the first area. Up ahead, blank button house. The last part of the note is scribbled out. Okay, so a boss fight is ahead. new flower, whatever this is, watermelon. As you sow, as you sow so, so shall you reap. As you sow the buttons, you so shall you reap the button flower. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. It's written, writing seems different. The first time I came here, there was no park, just a vast empty space. 
and the attractions were merry around with tons of teeth and bumper cars on fire. But they were all gone after the construction of the area was completed. But back then, compared to all these abnormal facilities, the most interesting thing was still the visitor in the black and white teddy bear costume. Holding a tattered doll and dead and the teddy visitor God looks timid. Don't be shy, play around. Woo woo to be continued. Alright, well. I'm invested. Wait, what are those? Button house. Okay. Okay. Thank God we went through the button house. I don't know what's going on. Not even a little bit. I've had the button house. I figured. I don't even slightly know what's going on. I got not even an inclination. Oh, pretty balloons. Desert shop. Dessert shop. Selling delicious food made of colorful paints. Rich and ecstatic emotions is your prime choice for experiencing spiritual moments. Except confetti is vouchers only. I do I have money? Is this my coinage? Uh. I'm good. Ah. Wow, Teddy, uh, no, my bad. Uh, you are a visitor too, no? We're a visitor at all in black and white. I almost saw you as someone else. Hey, your name's Scarlet? I'm Woo Woo, sole octopus in this park. Have you ever heard of Confetti Factory? I live in there. There's a ton of delicious food in that place. It's been a long time since I met the last visitor. How'd you get here? Did you buy a ticket? Fell out of nowhere. I guess so. Hey, did you happen to see my novel while you were wandering around here? So far, there's five chapters. I scattered them around while writing. See any other visitors that are black and white like you? No. I expected so. You tell me if you see another one? I give you two f candies for free for my precious collection. Oh, and do you feel up for some candies? The ones that can refresh your mind? The humans seem to rely on, on them somewhat. You can buy them a food truck. Yeah, I don't have the money. Look at the symbols on the lottery boxes. You know what prices they hold. Oh, money! Awesome. I got money. Tons of money. Wheel of Fortune. Biggest, most immersive Wheel of Fortune in the box. This is a boss. Don't be discouraged. You won't beat me. I am not reading all of that. There's too much dialogue in this game. Okay. Mystery box and a mystery box. Get a lottery box from a lottery box. Get another lottery box from a lottery box. Again, again, again. Find yet another sticker on the back part of this paper. Its writing seems to be different. Why are there so many teeth on the merry-go-round? Music parks weren't like this where I lived. I recall the notice in the billboards, Beware of Abnormal Appearances, and Confettia, which is out there spiritual attacks. What is that? Is that what abnormal means? While well, I was thinking, I saw a trembling figure walking towards me. Teddy was attacked by the abnormal merry-go-round. Luckily, I had lots of desserts that can heal the spirit, and I shared some with Teddy. So that they were too expensive. There goes my, most of my savings. Teddy told me that it would be a great to have a big spinning wheel of fortune there. God, there's so much dialogue. I don't know what we're talking about. Just spin the wheel and endless sweets would come out if one's lucky. Might be Teddy has never been to an amusement park, nor have they ever played this kind of game before. Even the introverted Teddy said this was excitement to be continued. Okay. Let's see if I can buy something. Oh, 
Uh, no, I can't. Sorry. Well, alright, let's go to the boss battle, I suppose. Because this is clearly a boss battle. This is a weird game, and I like its weirdness. Oh, hi! It's good to see you again. Hi, Scarlet! You're heading the first attraction in the button house already. Uh, though my work is the guy is pretty much over, I'm still really curious about what kind of fun you're gonna have. Quick survey! Do you think the moon is made out of blueberries? Are there geese swimming in the green box? Are there shadows at the thing oranges in the circus? Uh, eating oranges in the circus? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I expected so. Anyway, where is Demetria gone to? Being smashed in a jam in a terrible accident. Surely that won't happen. But never mind. How are you? Did you have fun with the welcome cable? I learned how to use Oricarda. Ah! That's something only visitors can get. It's strange. No one has ever else other than visitors have ever attended the Oricara and learned how to use it entirely in the entirety of Confetia. How'd you suddenly learn how to use it? Figured it out myself. Not interesting. I've heard this answer before. Hey, you still not wary of me just because I scared you a little at the entrance, aren't you? Honestly, I just intended to show you the terror of the abnormal. To be honest, Carl, let's whisper for a moment. I have no intention whatever to hurt you. I shoulder one, my one and only duty to guide the visitors on the right path. If anyone wants to save Confetti with Oricard, that's definitely the wrong path, leading to the worst endings of the whole Confetti. Why? Scarlet, keep your eyes wide open. Because the illusion is... I don't know what that said. Just like I said, the first attraction is Button House is just ahead. Oh, why that face? I didn't say anything weird. Our Wheel of Fortune will provide visitors with de uh, with del delicately designed games. Go ahead with your all capable orchard and try our little hero and try our little hero and confetti. <laughs> I don't know who to trust. Well, back to the topic at hand. Do you like the games booth at carnivals? With all the colorful figures lined up that you can take home if you toss rings into them. Oh dear, there seems to be more than two of us here. <laughs> can you hear me? Your audience, those who exist and do not exist, welcome! Finally got a new visitor in the wheel porch. He's running around. Yes, lucky audience. The theme is... Passing of my lottery box. The winner, who inside? Ah, who is the lucky winner? Do you have anything you'd like to say? Well, since our winner ran away, our true, our true lucky winner now should be Scarlet. If you beat three games, I will reward you with a big prize. Okay, see who this is? Oh, hi. Good to see you again. Only someone who's here to take my place and play with this thing. Hooray, you're alive! Hooray. Oh, I'm still here. Oh no, Scarlet, you must have been haunted by hallucinatory sounds. Hey, can you want to hear me? Hello, hello! If you keep chatting with non-existent things, you'll probably go insane for real. Hey, hey, hey! Mm, I think so. Becoming someone like Darylini would be terrifying. Hmm. Play with the Wheel of Fortune or everyone will be smashing a jam. Great. Great! Great. Also, can you put me down? No, no, you don't seem to understand, but only letting you go if Scarlet, if Scarlet beats me. Impossible. Oh, but you let them go. Jam on the floor. Wheel of Fortune, do you know that jumping from this height can't even hurt a school kid, right? I don't want to play your games anymore. My games are absolutely fair! You lost, so accept the punishment! Huh. Who forced me to play rock, paper, scissors with six hands at the same time? Oh, why this kiddo is so lacking the spirit of fun? 
been fighting with you for way too long. Never mind. But you two are a little troubling. We should stay in here. I'm sorry, it's against the rules. Cheating's not good. Are you expecting us to just stand here hopelessly watching Scarlet get torn to pieces? Don't tell it. I just think of it, paper scraps are hard to clean. Ah, oh, come on, Scarlet, you don't have to stay here and listen to them talking. Scarlet seems to be holding a very interesting paper craft. Let's play some special games. If you beat me, Will of Fortune will reward you with a huge amount of vouchers. How's that? Would you like to try your luck? You don't have a choice anyway. Cheater. I'm not. I don't know how to respond to all this, it's just happening. This is all happening without my consent. <laughs> the world of the first game. You must have played ring tossing games before, haven't you? I'll drop a lot of lovely little dolls. When the doll enters one of the light circles, catch them by shocking them with your aura curd. Capture five dolls, you'll be considered a winner. Are the rules clear? Clear. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Did I not get all of them? Come forth, Wheel of Fortune! Did I get them all? You got five dolls! Here's your reward! 400 vouchers! You can buy playing sweets with them! No, I can't! Wait, I forgot to say earlier. I suddenly grabbed by a storm of hands than I was brought here. That began a big meanie wheel which just forced me to play forever and wouldn't let me go. When I was stuck here, what happened to Scarlet? I took a ride on the welcome cable. Sounds like another trick treat, but it's actually a trick. You don't dare try any tricks in front of me. The next game is easy enough. I'll give it different commands and you must complete them within the time limit. But be careful! The lights dim, you must do the opposite of what the order says. Ugh, this is so annoying! For example, if I say stand still, you should keep running. If I say open a box, then don't open any box. Only when the light is dim. If you complete 10 commands, you win. Are the rules clear? Clear. I don't know where a bunny is. Oops. I went to the circle on the ground. Put a box. Went to the circle on the ground. Go down! I just don't have to do anything, you tell me. Oh wait, look, look, wait, which one's right? Wait. Which one's left? Good lord! I completed 14 commands more than you! Alright. Take it, take it! A great bunch of vouchers! <laughs> oh, I can play so many sweets now! You can't run away! You can't run away! The delicious little, little, little things are running around. <laughs> Jeez, Demetria, I think it's gonna eat you up! I'm gonna say I wanted to eat this kid with a cross on her head. But she is your hostage, Am I, and I'm your hostage too. 
Now they want to eat someone, I would have taken them as I wouldn't have taken them as hostage. I'm sorry, I didn't think you could possibly figure it out. Sweet. There there, since you asked for it, the Wheel of Fortune can only complete your wish. Last game, if Scarlet loses, everyone in every paper are going to be eaten. Ta-da! Oh, I'm flying. I hid Dimitri in one of these lottery boxes you managed to find her, you win! Easy, right? Uh, sure. However, every time the light dims, if normal will shout up. No time limit this time. If you can find- if you can't find her, the game- Okay, uh, yeah, I can just- For the last game, Dimitri will allow you to take a break outside. Can't find Dimitri after the game starts, so you can never leave this place. Uh, yeah, I'll just start now. Ready? Three, two, one. I can't, I can't. Okay. Okay, come on. I assume the good ending is the one where it takes. When that's harder. There we go. You know where Dimitri is? Haha, uh -huh, should I? Oh, amazing, amazing. None of these boxes. I'm in here. Where? Scarlet. Follow my voice. You hear me? I'm here. Ah, oh, you are high. Yeah, you found her. I can't believe you found her. Oh, thanks. The other mini games in the Wheel of Fortune. I thought I was gonna be stuck in here forever. You okay? Wait, let me see. Really, the sweets I won from the Wheel of Fortune are still on me. Sweets here, sweets here can refresh your spirit, right? Take these first. I knew it would resort to trickery, but I didn't expect to hide me in such a place. Come over here. The Wheel of Fortune has put a super prize for you. I won a prize. Scarlet never disappoints, you actually found her! Fine, fine, I admit defeat. For the generous So for the generous wheel of fortune hereby decides to give you a special prize box. Don't you wanna go home? You keep advancing. You may find the exit if you're lucky enough. There doesn't seem to be any path ahead. <laughs> the cheater isn't cheating even 
The cheater is cheating even even until the last minute. What's this box? I'm a teleportation box. Good day to you. Good day. Though mine's turning out to be quite the opposite. A teleportation box can teleport you to somewhere else. If you feed me with a tiny gingerbread. But I'm on a diet. I can teleport you for free just this once time. You don't have to feed me. The teleportation is one way trip. You can go back and take a reset. A rest at the dessert shop first. Uh, I think that might not be what's ha gonna happen. Hey, what happened? Oh. Well, you can't fast travel like this? I won the day! This game is so cool. It's so cool. Oh, I have to eat dinner soon. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. After I eat some sweets. Uh. Mm hmm, 10 spirit points. Well, I'm obviously gonna get this. Thirty spirit points. Hmm. These all are really linear, so I'm just gonna buy as many as I can. They all pretty much give me the exact same amount. Right? If 200 gives me 10, then that means double that is 400, and it should give me 20. And if I get 10 for every 200, then that means 200 more should give me 30. So all these give me the exact same amount of health for the cost. Right? I'm not saving anything on the cost. So I should just buy all of them. And that's math. That's how math works. Boom! Alright, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a second episode. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to play this, at least on my own. But, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe when you're here. Make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified when you're coming videos. It helps a lot. And, um, this was silly. Love you guys. Bye!